bizarre, it's hard to believe it's true. I mean, seriously. Trust you in my home, you rascal, you. What did you make of the film? I really liked the film. I thought it was it was really classy. And Bart Layton, the director, has made this documentary. It's very slick and mysterious and foggy. And you think this is, you know, it's a really impressive way to tell a story. I did kind of wonder whether it's more of a great story rather than a great documentary and what the difference is between the two. So I'd wonder if he's kind of picked up maybe a little bit too much credit for, for retelling a story that is in itself fascinating and telling it in an efficient way. Um, and particularly if you look at his past work, he did a lot of work for the Channel 5 series Banged Up Abroad, which is... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's about, like, Brits who, you know, inadvertently or otherwise smuggle drugs to other countries and then get caught out there and experience all sort of horrible... Um, horrible events with, with foreigners and you know and it's shot very slickly and it's very foggy and it's very well done and there's a very similar style to this film and I just wondered if maybe that was some sort of indication that we're throwing a lot of plaudits at this guy but maybe doesn't quite deserve them as much as we were saying. It's kind of surprising because the film actually you know this man's a psychopath really and it you know you and it's part of his his own sort of talent that he you know he's very charming and, and sort of takes you in. Is the film complicit in that? Do you do we feel too much for this guy? Is it too much about um, about the perpetrator rather than the victims? I think in a way it is partly because of the way it's shot. There's been a few people saying that um, Bart Layton lets Frederick talk directly to the camera mm. and eyes straight down the lens, whereas the family are doing the kind of more traditional to the side. So you get this feeling that he's really selling you his personality and he's selling you the story, Frederick. Mm. And so we are with him and he's actually quite a likeable guy. You know, he has in some ways a strange genius to him in that he can fool this many people, including us, the viewer, through the film and make it entertaining and make himself seem charming, even though he's done some fairly horrible things. Nobody ever gave a damn about me. And to know that if I change my identity, the reward was eventually to be put in a place where actually they really cared about me. And hell yeah, I mean, I was reborn. <laughs> I was born again. <laughs>